everybody. Um, this is a video response slash promotion for a um, challenge on Poet Spice's channel. Now, all she really wanted, she wanted you to, um, she got a new file of facts and she wanted you to make a little card that she has very specific dimensions. And on one side, she wants your name and your address, and I'm not going to show you that side. And then on the other side, she just wants you to, to talk about what are the things that you like, um, colors and stuff like that. And then the other thing she wanted was some tags that um, you would stamp um, that she can just color up or use in her junk journal. So I just took some of my... Um, stamps that I currently am really enjoying. Um, these two are Unity stamps. This one is this new Dina Wakely set that I just picked up um, from Hobby Lobby. And then this is um, a saying that's sort of kind of um, speaking to me right now. Happiness is not a destination, it's a way of life. So I did those. And I did this, and that's all she really wants you to mail to her, just like that. Really simple little thing. But I'm not going to mail off just that, because that's just who I am, and I wanted it to be a creative experience for me. So I did something that I wanted to do, and I'll send that to her too, and that is to make um, a tag, an alter tag. I think if there's any um, canvas, you know, we all have the canvases that we like. Some people like... Um, making cards. Some people like making um, scrapbook pages. I really like scrapbook pages too. It's just a different type of canvas and a different media uh, for a different reason. But this canvas is the one that I enjoy most when I'm doing stamp art and that is the tag. Um, and I don't know why. I it it Of all the different types of canvases it frees me. Um, ATC cards seem a little on the small side for me, I guess, and I don't know. I can't explain it, but when I want to make something fun, I make a tag. So um, this is some paper that I got off of a file folder, and I used it um, on the back because I like it, and it gives some substance to the tag. And then... Um, the paper collection that I used is this crepe paper Hello Love, and this is not my usual style. I mean, I do tend, I have gotten several crepe paper um, lines, but for some reason, I mean, they're very contemporary, which is usually not my style. I am definitely more um, this style than this style. But um, I loved the marbling and there was something about this particular style, this particular pad that appealed to me and I can't explain it because I, it just did. I just wanted this pad and I needed some Valentine's paper. And most of the Valentine paper out there, by the way, is very contemporary this year. Um, the one at Michael's, it's very contemporary. And um, I don't know, I looked around. I have... Um, the Bow Bunny Love and Lace coming in. Um, and I picked one up at Tuesday morning the other day um, that was from last year. That's eh, it's Echo Park. It's not quite as romantic, grungy, old-fashioned as I would prefer. But I'm just, uh, yeah, I haven't really found anything. I did recently see the one by Crate Paper, or no, not Crate Paper, Kaiser Craft. I've got to check that one out a little bit. But in the meantime, I did get this. And um, and I've been using this. So that's kind of fun. So I wanted to play with that because I am so tired of Christmas. And I'm avoiding my December daily at the moment, which is naughty of me because I'd like to get it done. But I really just didn't feel like looking at Christmas stuff. I even took the Christmas tree down um, today. So what I did decide to do was use these new Dina Wakely stamps that I found, which I'm not a heart person. Um, hearts are not something that I typically craft with. Although at Valentine's, 
I do use a lot of hearts just for Valentine's because that's kind of the thing. But these, these really grungy hearts, let me see if I can give you a, a rundown. I picked these up at Hobby Lobby and I think they were, the set was 11, 12, somewhere in there I used my coupon. So these grungy hearts really appealed to me. Um, so I liked them. So here's what I did. I made this tag and um, I backed, I used Mod Podge to put one of the papers from the crepe paper line on here and it's just one that had little hearts on it. And then um, I've really been seeing a lot of these tags where the bottom half is embossed with gold glitter and um, I had purchased this Zing, um, what is this? I got this at the craft warehouse. What color is it? Does it say a color? It doesn't say a color. Well, it's red sparkle. There you go. It's red sparkle. I thought this, this would be perfect for Valentine's day. Um, yeah, glitter finish red. That's what they call it. Um, I also thought I could use it in my December daily that I'm avoiding. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> I got it and um, yeah anyway then I cut out a bunch of the papers from the paper line and I just stamped these stamps I used VersaFine um, for all of my stamping even on this by the way these are all VersaFine so you can watercolor on those and they'll be fine um, the saying here where they're there is love, there is no darkness. I stamped that and embossed it in gold. But I stamped it in black and embossed it in gold. So it's kind of gold with a black background, which is kind of funky. Um, I used Tim Holtz Festive Berries and Black Soot around the outside of the tag. And then I just layered these hearts. I cut them out. I love the blue marble or the kind of tealy marble paper that was in this collection. So I made sure to use that. And I just layered them. So it's just a simple, there's some fibers from my, um, from my stash. This, let me see if you can see that stick pin. See that little stick pin? I actually made those last year. I took a regular, um, pin and I have, um, I used, um, Fimo and I just put the pin inside of the Fimo in the, and baked it and it, Put the little heart on the top and then I added this little faux pearl and that little you know so I stuck that stick pin on there I wanted to put a dangle charm on it but then it covered up my heart and I'm not sure whether it's truly finished I might be putting some glossy accents on a couple of these things or maybe some more glitter or something I don't know but this is where it is now and um, it will either go to poet spice in this condition or slightly more modified um, so if you want to participate in the challenge, you don't have to make a tag or a card or anything. All she asked for was just this little, um, card that she could put in her Filofax folder that is this size and she gives you the dimensions. And of course I will put the, um, reference down below and she wants just some tags stamped with stamps that you have that she can put in her junk journal and so I've done that and um, I'll probably even throw in these little hearts that I stamped on the paper that I made extras of and there it is all right so join the fun challenge it seems easy it seems fun and we'll talk to you later bye bye